Hi, Chris Murray here. I recently received a question on Facebook about the difference between Open Subdiv modifier and the Turbo Smooth modifier. We introduced Open Subdiv in 3ds Max 2016, so why do we need a new subdivision modifier if we already have Turbo Smooth? So I figured it'd be a good time to kind of take a look at those two modifiers, answer that question, and hopefully clear some of the differences up between the two. So let's go ahead, jump into 3ds Max, and let's take a look. So here I am in 3ds Max. I have two identical pieces of geometry. They're all quads, 90 degree angles, very low poly. This will be a good example to show you the difference between Turbo Smooth and Open Subdiv. I'm going to start with Turbo Smooth. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add the Turbo Smooth modifier from my modifier drop-down list. And you can see that it immediately rounds over all of the edges. We get this blobby looking mass of polygons in here. I've lost all of the silhouette definition in my geometry. I want the nice topology of Turbo Smooth, but I also want to maintain the edge definition. How do I do that? I'm going to go into editable poly here and I'm going to go into the edge sub-object mode. And in order to do this with Turbo Smooth, we have to add a lot of extra geometry at all of the 90 degree angles. So I'm going to go to the edit tab on my graphite modeling tools. I'm going to get the swift loop tool. And I'm just going to start dropping in a bunch of extra edges uh, near all of the corners that I want rounded over. So I'm just going to do this very quickly. I'm not paying a lot of attention to my accuracy here. I just want to get this in here so that we can get a good example of all of the extra geometry that's needed. So I'll oops, come over there. Just add a bunch of edges in here along the back side. All right, let's go ahead and turn on uh, show end result. And you can see that I have uh, a nice rounded over corners and edges. I have some areas down here that I've forgotten. So we'll go ahead and add uh, some additional geometry down there and add some stuff right there. Okay, so good enough for Turbo Smooth. We can see that we have the rounded over definition that we want. Uh, and we also have a lot of extra geometry to achieve that effect. I'm going to get out of this and I'm going to go over to our other object. And this one we're going to do with Open Subdiv. So I'll go ahead and add the Open Subdiv modifier to it. And we get the same result basically as Turbo Smooth. We get this rounded over piece of geometry. What about all my edge definition? Well, this works in conjunction with a modifier called Crease Set. So I'll come over here and I'll add a Crease Set modifier. It goes actually below Open Subdiv. And I can go in here and begin selecting all the edges that I want to control manually. Or since I know that this geometry is all quads and 90 degree angles, I instead of it doing manually, I, I can just use select by face angle. And I select all the edges that are 90 degrees. And with this particular piece of geometry, that's everything. So I've got all of these edges. And I'm going to go ahead and make a crease set called edges. And I'll create that set. And the, the set is created and it now has weight. If I go back up to my open subdiv modifier, turn it on, you can see I've got iteration set to two. I'll turn off isoline display so I can see all of the extra topology that's created. And back on the crease set modifier, if I adjust the weight of this, you can see that without adding any extra geometry, I'm able to control the roundness of those edges that are all uh, on the uh, outer uh, portions of this piece of geometry. So I can increase the subdiv here get some really nice rounded over edges, all without any of that extra geometry. Okay, so now I've got really nice rounded over edges. If you look at the topology, it's very clean topology. Over here, it's relatively clean topology, but I have all of this extra geometry that I'm gonna pay a penalty for, especially if I'm doing something like character animation. Now that brings up a good point. In Open Subdiv, another advantage to using this one is this option right here called GPU Display. And what this does is this offloads all of the mesh calculations to the GPU. This is especially helpful if you're doing deformation animation like with the character. You can just add the Open Subdiv modifier instead of the Turbo Smooth modifier and you'll receive a lot better viewport performance than if you were just using Turbo Smooth. So those are the two major differences between using Open Subdiv and Turbo Smooth. Uh, you Again, you get a lot nicer mesh definition without a lot of the extra geometry and you have a lot of control over the edges. And you gain the advantage of using the GPU display option, especially if you're doing skinned animation. I'm Chris Murray. Hopefully this has helped. Thanks for your time.